Okay, so welcome. This is kind of like part two to our first part of our Costco haul. And I'm going to lay everything out for you, share with you what we're doing with everything, go into more detail into the ingredients, what we're making. I hope you get some really good ideas. Ask me all the questions, comment down below. I'm really new at all this. You guys are amazing. Let's get into this. Okay, so I'm going to go over everything that we got from Costco. It is quite a bit. That is why you're seeing this on a second video. I hope you find these videos helpful. I will be dropping everything down below, all the menus that I'm going over with you here. Um, and then as videos roll out, you'll see lots of shorts coming out because we're going to be doing either Tuesday through Saturday here on YouTube or Monday through Friday, what we eat in a day videos. And then we have at least one long video per week of what we make for breakfast lunch, dinner, and snacks for one full day. I'm working on doing it more than one day a week, but with our grocery hauls dropping and other things we're working on, it's super time consuming. I drop like a lot of the things that we make, one meal. So I'll show you how I make lasagna with the recipe and how to do it, not in long form, but in short form. So I love all your suggestions, so keep dropping them down below. You guys being here means the world to me. All right, so let's start with the 20 pounds of ground beef in the back. Why did I buy 20 pounds of ground beef? One of the packages we're making a low carb chili. Will be served with Greek yogurt, cheese, green onions. I am doing crock pot meals for a week in a video. That will be part of that video. I don't know if we'll use all five pounds, but that's just kind of how it comes. And I buy it this way because it's cheaper than buying it like in the packages. We might have a little bit more, but I really think because it's a low carb chili and there's no beans, it'll be it'll be consumed. And then another one of the packages we're making crock pot lasagna. We'll use a lot of the meat on that, and then we're also making homemade pizzas. We're making cheeseburgers one day for lunch. This will easily be gone. Not an issue. Moving on to the chicken. We decided to make some chickens in the crock pot. We're going to spice them up, make them all tasty and yummy, and then we'll like serve them with vegetables. Love buying whole chickens. One, because they're inexpensive. Um, These are $2.99 a pound. But then I also get the bones to make bone broth. I love making beef bone broth, but I also love making chicken bone broth. You can make these chickens up up on a Sunday, pull the meat apart, dress them how you want, and then you have lunch meat for an entire week easily. And then you're saving money, you're not buying all the lunch meat because lunch meat is super expensive. The turkey lunch meat that I love right now at Costco, I stopped buying it because of this, is almost $11 a pound. I'm cutting corners so I can afford to keep eating the way we're eating. And so that is our game plan. And we've done this in the past. I've been doing this for many, many years. Now that we've talked about whole chickens for a while, so I get really excited. Let's move on to the sausage. I got two of these. And we just make sausage with like various breakfast dishes. This week we're doing like a almond flour waffle. We will have some breakfast sausage on the side. We're also doing eggs in a basket. So we'll have sausage with that as well. I do like this brand a lot. And I buy this because the chicken raised with antibiotic, got some spices, water, parsley, extract, rosemary, and vinegar. We pick these up, same brand that makes the caramelized onion and white cheddar burgers. Down here we have the cheesy balls, fresh mozzarella snacking cheeses and even if it's on the menu they'll always grab one of these when we go out and about we grab some of these i have teenagers and sometimes they're just like can i just make a salad i'm just kind of hungry you just grab some of these and then you go outside and you grab some basil because it's summer right now and then you just put some balsamic some extra virgin olive oil salt and pepper tomatoes you have yourself a little salad they're really convenient they're packaged really nice over here i got the french brie this is my absolute favorite the price is right we usually just use it for snacking and then we'll cut some up with the meal. Over here, I bought the same company, but this is the sliced ready to serve mozzarella. We are making homemade pizzas this week and we want to put some of the ground beef. And then we're also going to put some, of course, pizza seasoning and sauce and all that good stuff. But we're also going to put sliced mozzarella cheese on it. I'm excited. It's going to be good. Over here, these are so good. I only wish I would have stocked up on them. They were $4 off last time I was at Costco and now they're not. Now they are are $14.99 a box. A little on the high side, but they're so good. And my kids want them for lunch. So we're going to have the chicken burgers with like pickles, maybe some feta cheese, onions, tomatoes. We're going to wrap them up in romaine lettuce. We were able to find romaine lettuce this week at Costco, which I'm always excited about. It's my favorite. You know, you would think eight would be enough, right? Mm -hmm. No, we have to buy two boxes because of my size and my family. But here are the ingredients. Check it out. Organic chicken, organic white cheddar cheese, sea salt, vegetable enzymes, organic caramelized onions, 
They're just really clean, really delicious. And when we tried them, I was like, well, we'll just try it once because if we don't like them, I have a whole bunch of them and then waste the money. Now I wish we would have bought more. Moving back here to the chicken. This is chicken tenderloins and this is the price. This chicken, this will just be extra for anything that comes up. Um, just to have it on hand for emergencies, whatever we need it for. I thought we might need it this week for the chicken stir fry, but we had some. So back here we have the lamb. Now the lamb did go back up to $5.49 a pound, but that's still pretty darn excellent. I don't know why it was going back and forth between $3.99 and $5.49 a pound, but it is. And this week we're going to make the lamb in a crock pot. I cannot wait to see how this turns out. I've never done this before. I found an Indian lamb curry dish and we're going to try it. And I'll drop the recipe down below for you in the description if you want to check it out. It's not my recipe. I do end up tweaking a lot of my stuff. Like almost every recipe I find, I tweak. I don't know if I've ever followed a recipe, not even a baking recipe. I just, I just don't. I'm going to drop the recipe anyway so you can check that out. All right, let's go over to the salmon. Salmon is not the cheapest. This is the price on the salmon. It's a little over $12 a pound. But this week we wanted to make something different because I'm doing five crock pot meals. So another meal we're doing is a salmon sheet pan. So you're basically laying your salmon out on the sheet pan. It's really easy. And you're going to put some vegetables, spices, and seasonings in it. Stick it in the oven. Make some rice on the side. And you have a quick and easy dinner in under 30 minutes. And this is all wild caught salmon. We're not buying anything farm raised. And it is right out of Alaska. And let's keep moving okay so then down here we have the feta cheese i don't know why it's just all the feta is like i think it has too much air on the feta but the lid won't stay on i love that casco carries the organic feta now i personally prefer either raw dairy grass-fed raw dairy or sheep and goat's milk dairy i really don't like the cheese that's not doesn't have that raw form or is not like sheep's and goat i don't like pasteurized cheese like this over here has some pasteurized cheese in it not the biggest fan of that but i do like how it's using organic milk so it's not GMO milk. I let this, I let this slide. And the feta cheese will be for just various dishes like salad. We're making these Greek egg muffin cups and just things like that. Then moving down, we have Parmesan for lasagna, homemade pizza. We're making Italian sausage peppers in the crock pot, all that good stuff. Here we have Kerrygold, a grass-fed cheese. And then this is a, an age nine plus months made with raw milk. We'll use both of these or all three of these cheeses for things like salmon sandwiches we're doing a bagel bar um, and just various dishes moving on to the eggs we bought four of the flats now we usually use an entire flat per breakfast depending on the dish so for the dishes this week for the eggs we're doing eggs in the basket we're doing a bagel bar we're making deviled eggs we're having greek egg muffin cups and then i'm also doing french toast and back here we have the stir fried vegetables i do love the stir fried vegetable mix broccoli we have sugar snap peas green beans we have carrots mushrooms red bell peppers water chestnuts which is a super food and then yellow onions for that price getting all these veggies in here um yes please when i say liquid gold yeah liquid gold we use this on everything and it was on sale check out that price i should have bought more limit was five we bought three i think it was only a weekend sale and then over here broccoli peas and green beans we will use this on just various different dinners lunches with the peas and the chicken fried rice green beans my kids just love to eat the green beans with some like garlic and butter or extra virgin olive oil uh yeah it's pretty amazing and then the broccoli we just we just love broccoli here we have everything that we got at costco take one and i'm going to change everything up and show you the next one here's the second table full of goodness i'm going to speed things up a little bit here for you we have again another table full of food to show all right so starting back here onions pretty basic red and sweet onions for cooking various different dinners lemons my daughter wants to highlight her hair i said okay, okay. want lemons yep we're gonna get some lemons we're too. getting lemons what is the lemons for water and i want to try like doing that one thing you do in your hair i'll put some lemon juice lemon here for, for like, lightening it yeah, for for highlights. Like highlights. yeah. yeah nice um, and then we use it for like salads water just different things raisins for ants in the log granola we do this for oatmeal 
And then my kids just love raisins with like apples and peanut butter. We got some of the strawberry jam. Haven't bought this in a really long time. Kids love that. We bought the Greek yogurt. So the Greek yogurt is perfect for a replacement of sour cream. It's higher in protein. I put this in my smoothies for my kids because it adds that protein for them. I don't like using protein powder. Oh, they'll just have Greek yogurt on the side of any dish with like some honey or hemp seeds, things like that. The goal moving forward is to homemade yogurt at all times. I know how to make it. I'm just, I haven't done it in a while. Okay, down here we have carrots. We don't buy the baby carrots because those are bleached and they cost way more than buying them just like this. Now, organic carrots do not need to be peeled. You can if you want to, but we're going to be using these for snack and for various dishes this week. Over here, Costco finally has their celery sticks again. They haven't had them for a while, so I was happy to see that. And I bought one bag for bone broth. Celery down here for things like ants in a log. I'm really good at just throwing chopped celery into a lot of my dishes for flavor. Moving on to the peppers. I only got two bags this week. One bag will easily be used on the Italian sausage pepper crock pot. Um, then the other bag will be used for just like snacks. My kids literally will just eat peppers like an apple. Because we were plant-based for so long, my kids love vegetables. You have to say that was one of the perks of being plant-based for so many years. Like my one boy, Alex, Alex doesn't even like, is not a big cheese eater at all. But you can give hummus yeah no he won't eat it will he only the cheese is melted cheese is melted so he does eat cheese but fresh cheese he won't eat there you go okay interesting facts about alex we got some plums i wanted to make a fruit salad fruit salad Yummy, yummy. This week with in-season fresh produce and they had these really beautiful plums. These are nice and soft. They're like the perfect texture. So I think we're gonna make this rather fast. Then we picked up some garlic. So we use garlic in everything. Garlic is super good for you. Even eating more of an animal-based diet, I will not be giving up certain things. We got some cucumbers for salad. I picked up six cucumbers. And then we went over zucchini. These were various dishes. Let's go this way. My son wanted these pomegranates. So we got some of the pomegranates granite seeds in here. This is the kind of things I'm talking about. They're with me. They pick out things they want. I would have never thought about picking up these little pomegranate cups from, but he's like, mom can have these. I'm like, um, yeah. So we got the pomegranates. We'll probably put that in salad or knowing my son, he'll just take a spoon and he'll just eat out of the cup. Working our way over here. I had no plans for the asparagus this week, but I figured we can have him with one of the meals. You don't necessarily have to buy organic asparagus. You can buy it conventional, but whenever there's organic, I just pay a little bit more and I pick it up. It's one of my favorite brands and look at the colors. So pretty. Maybe I'll just go ahead and make it with the burgers. We're having cheeseburgers this week. We're making fruit salad. So we have raspberries. The price is a little bit high in the raspberries now. The season will come to an end rather fast, but the price was just perfect on the blueberries. So we got three of those. Again, fruit salad and snacking. My little girl will just come by. I have a couple blueberries and it's like yeah, look at the spinach, okay? My kids like spinach. Well, I didn't realize they put two things of spinach in the cart. So I guess they have plans for the spinach this week and we have a lot of spinach to eat. If your stuff is gonna go bad and you see that it's gonna turn, you can just freeze this and put them in your smoothies. Okay, we have three of the romaine lettuce and I knew about that because we're gonna do our chicken sandwiches in the romaine lettuce. We're gonna do salads. We can go through a whole bag in one sitting. So I'm not too worried about that. And this stuff keeps. There you go. Okay, over here. Here we got some of the cherry tomatoes. These are going to be for different dishes. We're having a sandwich bar. We're going to use those little mozzarella balls and make some of the um, capri salad. And so those will be consumed rather fast. And then we have the box of tomatoes down here to put on top of our sandwiches. Even our egg salad sandwiches, my kids love to put tomatoes on their egg salad sandwiches, on their turkey sandwiches or ham sandwiches, you name it. We have it. The grapes will be for different breakfast dishes and probably this one will go with a fruit salad. These are the Harmless Harvest Organic Coconut Waters. There's no sugar added. If you see coconut water with sugar added, don't buy them. Coconut water does not need added sugar. It just does not. These were on sale. Check out that price. Normally $13.99. So that was a great deal. Bananas for snacking. Now we're going to use the bananas on our oatmeal this week. And then I also am going to be making these really yummy oatmeal muffins. Last thing on the table is mushrooms. Oh, we're doing the caramelized mushrooms and caramel onions for the burgers. So here is the second table. I went a little bit faster. Remember all of the menu ideas that we're doing this week will be down below in the description. Let's go to the third table.
And the last table, couldn't get everything on here. I do have kitty litter on the ground and a box of Pellegrino. Okay, here is the last and final table. We have the extra cheddar cheesy smells, go with sandwiches, movie night, trips, all different kinds of things. They are discontinuing these. Asterisk little symbol in the corner means no longer have them. Then we got the Siete chips to go with sandwiches and just different kinds of side dishes. My kids love the Siete chips. They're very clean. There is the ingredients right there. Cassava blend. Sorry, we're making dinner in the background. Then we have the avocado oil, coconut flour, chia seeds to sell. Can't beat that. These are things that we kind of splurge on when we go there. <laughs> There's actually a couple more splurging items back there. Then up here we have peanut butter. I usually buy four jars of peanut butter when I go into Costco. Love their peanut butter. I've never found peanut butter any cheaper. I have looked. You can get a lot of peanut butter that is smaller containers. That's two to three times more the price. So we go to Costco. Apples and peanut butter. Peanut butter and cheese sandwiches. Um, they put peanut butter in their smoothies. They smear it on everything. <laughs> So we got four jars that'll last us about a week and a half. We have olives. These were on sale. I did not need them, but they are the best. I love these organic green olives. They're from Sicily. Mayo, favorite mayo ever. I was talking about this in the video. We're gonna use it this week for egg salad sandwiches. Any place you need mayonnaise, this is what we use. If you look at the back, avocado oil, organic eggs, organic egg yolk, organic vinegar, sea salt and organic rosemary extract looks good avocados we did buy more avocados my last haul with aldi you saw i bought a bunch of avocados for different meals this week but then my kids want avocado pudding and i realized it did not factor that in so we're having avocado pudding this week with blueberries and so we got some of that the victoria organic marinara is so clean and so delicious and check out that price it is on sale currently at costco so if you're at costco you need to pick that up we have plenty now for our chili we have plenty for our lasagna we're having pizza this week it will be consumed the ingredients are super clean i love that they use extra virgin olive oil and organic tomatoes and organic onions and organic garlic everything in here is organic you cannot beat that price so grab it if you're there then we got sandwich bags and we got freezer bags now we don't go through a lot of them we use a lot of like Ello containers we use those containers for everything they're glass we have these sweet little containers for like lunch boxes. We got ours from Costco and then some of the ones we got from Amazon, but I have everything linked to my Amazon store because Costco, like right now, currently is not carrying this brand. You have to go to Amazon or wherever else you like to shop, but I do have them linked if you are looking for those. But because we homeschool, we don't really need a lot of sandwich bags. Like those sandwich bags are gonna last me like a year. The gallon bags will last me probably, depending if I do some meal prepping, which I think I'm gonna start doing. The Ziploc bags are on sale. Here is the organic original salty and sweet granola. Not on my list, but whoops, this should be pretty good. We haven't tried it yet, but I've heard great things about it. And the ingredients are really clean. They are organic certified, gluten-free oats, coconut sugar, coconut oil sunflower seed there's a quinoa flakes chia cinnamon looking good and then the whips my daughter like get the whisks get the whisks and so here's the parmesan wisdom pasteurized part skim milk cheese culture salt enzymes gluten-free lactose-free keto friendly 13 grams of protein for one ounce 11 servings super great for lunches or when you're on the go you just need something to snack on they're nice and crunchy during a movie so we love this. Okay, moving on to the cashews. I love what Costco is doing with this. So they used to put this in a plastic container. Not only did, I believe they lowered the price, 85% reduced plastic, same great product, organic whole cashews, unsalted, unroasted. And this bag is two and a half pounds. And it makes me happy that they're really trying to cut down on the plastic. And we'll make all kinds of dressings. We'll put cashews in our salad. And mostly this week, my kids will just snack on them. Syrup is for baking. We bake with syrup. I bought two of them for French toast this week and we're making avocado pudding and I'm not quite sure what else unless my daughter has plans to make granola I think she might that's why we bought two of them and I just realized I did not go over this simple meals sweet thin honey cinnamon crackers you guys look at that price that price is so amazing cheaper than anywhere else I can find them check it out so they're using seed and nut flour blend, tapioca starch, arrowroot powder, organic coconut sugar, organic coconut oil, honey, 
honey extract, cinnamon baking soda, rosemary extract, sea salt, cream of tartar, and vanilla extract. We are going to put these in our trail mix. Last week, we put these on our apple nachos, and they were so good. This is great in place of the graham crackers if you're making, like, s'mores. Okay, moving right along, honey. Honey for honey tea. Put this on our yogurt. We'll put this on our oatmeal. Um, honey is just super good for you. We like to buy the Wisconsin Raw Unfiltered Honey from Costco. U.S. Grade A Product of America. I hope so, because Wisconsin is in the USA. Um, so it's not from multiple countries. It's as local as we can get it right now. Working my way over here, we have the bagels. We're having a bagel bar on Sunday. So I don't think we're going to go through all these bagels. This is enough for two weeks. I don't buy them very often, but the kids wanted them. So I said, sure. And here we have everything bagel, plain cheese and then cinnamon raisin. Back here we bought some more bread for sandwiches or whatever else we're gonna need it for this week. Then we got some of the extra virgin olive oil we buy. I love the one from Costco. It is clean. It is actually extra virgin olive oil. There's a lot of companies that do not give you what they say they're giving you. I've done my research and I know it's not organic but that's okay because it's from one origin and it's from Italy. So I know that it's gonna be good. Produced from Italian grown olives. Balsamic for the Capri salad, and my kids will make dressings out of this. It's organic balsamic vinegar. And then we have clothes, and my phone is probably not doing any justice on the clothes. We got sweatshirts, sweatpants. My husband got a flannel. We got a bunch of different workout pants. I think overall, for everything we got in these this haul, I think it's a really good price. I think we did extremely well. We got all of this food. This is amazing. I, I think it's pretty good. Overall, it was a success. Here is a grand total of everything I spent for the entire day. Okay, there you go. That is it. That's everything we bought. That haul will last me a little over a week, but you will see coming up, my husband had to go back. He was in Madison working, so he just made it like a pit stop. And then he filmed himself walking around kind of like in a short style he thought he was doing it the right way bless his heart so you have to catch it on the shorts love that you're with us love your comments love the community i'm building on here you guys are awesome see you in the next video till then take care